Oh man, I spy with my mind-blowingly handsome hazel eyes a whole bunch of fossils. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, welcome back everyone. I wanted to wanted to do a bigger adventure today, but I woke up this morning and got distracted thinking about big life plans and plans for this channel. Uh, so didn't end up leaving the house until noon or so, which means that I don't really have time for a big adventure, but I have my road bike with me because all the hiking trails are still mushy, all the biking trails are still mushy, so gotta ride on the pavement, unfortunately. And I'm just up at a little, a gorgeous little island up in Lake Champlain and uh, just gonna cruise around here for a bit. I know there's a cool quarry with some fossils to explore, so you have that to look forward to. And uh, yeah, just gonna cruise around. There's just always a headwind. No matter which way you're going, there's always a headwind. Oh my god, it's so bumpy. Here be the quarry. Nice spot, eh? I'm getting quarried out of my gourd right now. Loch Ness Monster, you in there? Hello? Mm. Boring, I'm bored. Show me something exciting. Found a path, animal path, I'm guessing. All right, let's go on a fossil hunt. Oh boy. Hey, fossils. Oh, fossils, come here. Skip, 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 skip. Skip, 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 and before that, it was ocean bed. And before that, it was my bed. Could have sworn there are some decent fossils around here. Oh man, I spy with my mind-blowingly handsome hazel eyes a whole bunch of fossils that people have marked off. Hi, little bud. You're pretty dead, aren't you? You've been dead for a long time. Yeah, pretty, pretty frickin' solid fossil. Sick. That's your great, 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 great grandfather right there. The uh, what's it called? Um, stalagmite, fallopian tube. I don't fucking know. Cephalopod. That's the word I was looking for. Look at this cephalopod right here. Sick. Come on. Right here. Ooh, another fossil. Can you even see that? This right here. 480 million years ago. That is how long ago these fossils, well, that's how long ago the animals that created these fossils lived. Well, that is it for another little mini adventure. Hopefully I'll be back in a couple weeks with a more epic adventure. That's the plan. I hate being 
stuck inside editing video on these beautiful summer evenings. It's just gorgeous. So I figured I'd try something a little bit different and bring my laptop into my kayak with me. And uh, turns out it can't really see shit in the sun. So that idea was not fantastic. I just finished editing what I thought would be a longer video. It's currently only four minutes, 46 seconds, and 27 frames long. YouTube has this algorithm that determines which videos to promote. The more time someone could potentially spend watching your video, the more likely someone is to spend on YouTube itself using YouTube's facilities, services. I have some footage from a hiking trip that a couple of friends and I went on a while ago, so I might, I think I'm just gonna throw some of that into the end and make the video a bit longer. Well, it is five o'clock and we have to go down here, and then around there, and then up to there, and down the other side. So, it'll be dark when we get there. Got some work to do, Ben. Yeah, so we started late, and there were shitload of deadfalls, and down trees, and all sorts of stuff on the trail. Oh, the things you gotta do for hiking. <laughs> nice, Carl. Sick. It's a little tight. It was a lot slower going than we thought it would be, but along the way we uh, we saw a lot of a lot of animal poop on the trail, so that was pretty cool. I think we just found the biggest shit I've ever seen. And it was like, me. And it was this guy right here. <laughs> it's like it's like a four inch girth monster with a girthy butthole. Sam Squanch. to the shelter for the first night because there was rain in the forecast, but that didn't happen. So we ended up setting up camp. Uh, Justin and I slept in our hammocks. Carl slept in his tent and we stayed pretty dry. It was all right. Night dudes. Sick day dudes. Sleep tight dudes. Hey dude, sweet tight, tight D dude. Well, guess what? We're in the woods again. Just filling up with some delicious piss water here. Check out that beautiful color. Mm. Yummy yum. Today we woke up with the intention of recovering that lost mileage from yesterday, so that would put us at about 15 miles today, which usually is not that bad, but we found tons of downed trees and there was snow like three feet deep. It got a little bit gnarly there, so we were going at an average of probably about a mile an hour. Carl! So again, we called it short, did like a nice four mile day, and uh, ended up at the shelter we were planning on making it to the first night. Oh, dude! Watch out. Keep out of the revegetation area. It took us two days to do 14 miles as opposed to one day. <laughs> Springtime hiking in New New England, you have to be willing to be really flexible with your plans because who knows what the weather's gonna do or what the conditions will be. I mean, it's a good thing to keep in mind for any sort of outdoor activity, hiking, biking, skiing, whatevs. You just wanna be flexible in case conditions change, someone gets hurt, um, you know, you really gotta poop, like really gotta poop, you know, that, that, could, that could really throw a wrench in the works. I really gotta poop. This is a beautiful campsite though, with a really nice shelter, really nice lake slash pond. But you know, now we're just gonna drink some coffee, read some books, drink some whiskey, get a little bit dickered, you know, see what happens. 